Hey guys, it's me, and I'm playing this game. So, let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed the the bottom of the well mini dungeon, but my god, was it hard. <laughs> anyway, in this episode, we're going to get one little treat here, as well as start the Shadow Temple. But the first thing we're going to do is actually start this mini game, pay 10 rupees out of our big wallet that we have. Of 500 rupees. This game can actually be completed before you get the lens of truth, but it's it's hard. If you don't know it, then I think it's random. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, it's you've got a one in the 32 chance of winning, right? Because you have to go through this, and if it's randomly generated, I can't exactly remember. Um, if you get the rupee, you won't be able to progress into the next room. But it's it's very easy that we have wow they're all on the bottom side. But it's very easy that we have the lens. I can't believe they're all on the bottom side. This is weird. I'm really tempted, like doing this, to just open up one of the chests because I want rupees. Because look, I don't have 500 rupees anymore. But that would be that would be counterproductive, wouldn't it? That one wouldn't be. That'd be like profit. Except it actually wouldn't be. Now that I think about it. Alright, so. Here we go. We're gonna get a treasure. This is... A... Piece of heart! Hey! Oh, I actually completed a heart container with that? I did. Wow. We only have three hearts to go. Wow. It, it just feels like freaking yesterday that I restarted this Let's Play. But it was 20 days ago. That is weird. And marking that, uh, this is actually part 40 of this Let's Play. I'm soon going to be... Um, this is soon going to be the furthest I've gotten in a game that's not DayZ. Uh, and once I complete this, I'm actually going to be the first game that I completed fully next to am Amnesia. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to go and turn into an adult now. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that cut there. I actually got interrupted in, and now I'm recording this temple two days after uh, I cut, which is kind of weird. But anyway, uh, I actually took the time within these two days to actually practice this temple on the 3D version of the game. So, I know the temple better than I would have two days ago, so that's good. And now I can practice on the 3D version, because I just beat the temple on the 3D version today, actually. Uh, so, we can just go on and beat this temple. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so, it's it's a very easy temple. Like, the only hard thing about this temple is that um, sometimes you can get messed up. And if you fall, you're going to be put back to an earlier spot, and that's not good. Uh, I also found out that I'm missing... I'm missing two heart pieces... And two, or one Skulltula. That's what I'm missing. So, probably in a bonus video later on, I'll be getting those back. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. In this room, we're just going to ignore it right now. We're going to use our Mask of Truth, or Lens of Truth, to find there's a hidden wall right here. We're going to go through here. And there's going to be a wall right here. It's just hidden. These are, like, weird. One who gains the Eye of Truth will be able to see in the hidden darkness. Okay, so... Yeah, we know. We already know that. Shadow Temple. Here's gathers. Here's gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. It's a very creepy temple, like one of my least favorite in terms of awesomeness, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go around here and get the map and actually the dungeon item. Very early to be getting this item, but um, I'm cool with it. I do not mind. Uh, destroy the keys in this room as well as that redead. And we will get the item. The dungeon map. Let's -a go. Alright, that should be it. Okay, there we go. Alright. I actually missed the uh, compass in my practice run. I beat the temple in maybe 45 minutes on the practice run. I should be able to get it in maybe 35 minutes because I had to do some. Uh, like backtracking because I fell off like three times. I should be able to get it uh, done in a 
good amount of time. But anyway, once we get the map, we're going to head back out and go to the right. And we'll find another passageway right here. Shadow Temple, yep, that's exactly what the other one said before. What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. You can not see the way forward. Man. The reason that I hate this temple is because there's so many like wall masters and floor masters that you can get killed by. And then there's this. The mini boss is another dead hand. And in the Ocarina of Time 3D version, I said this on my Facebook. It's be it's oh, it's just worse than this one. Like Like I said that it was creepy as a child in this game. But oh my god, on the 3D version, it's just so much better. Or so much worse, I mean. Okay. I meant to say... Oh, man. This is annoying. I gotta kill some of these. I do not like these hands. Okay, come on. You're kidding me. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, you don't need to... Uh, you don't need to be grabbed by these hands. Oh, my God. These are annoying. In a 3D version, I just killed him in one hit. All you have to do is, whenever he's underground, just um, get grabbed by one of the hands, and then he'll come up again. Try to attack you. Uh, it's easy to beat him with the big Goron sword. It's like, because it's the strongest sword in the game. But look at that. That's creepy. Why would you... Oh, just, just the worst thing ever. One of the creepiest things in the game. I hate it. It's... Uh, ugh. Okay. So, we got the hover boots, and these are just like the iron boots, except they have a different effect. They don't make you sink, they make you float. So, now that we now that we have this, I'm going to go back out to the main room. So, there's nothing to do in this room anymore. Just head back out to where the torches are. I will meet you there. Okay, so now that we're back in the torch room, we're going to use our lens of truth to find that this one torch has... N is is view viewable, I guess you could say, through the lens of truth. Or, th not through the lens of truth. Uh, yeah, wait, no, I don't know English. Anyway, we're just gonna use this and push it all the way to that torch. I guess they're torches. I guess just skull torch or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's a very simple puzzle. This, this dungeon does make use of the lens of truth. It, it really does. You don't even have to hold your control stick or A during this scene once you push it. All right, so now that we see that that's opened up, we're just going to put on our our hover boots here and float all the way down to the bottom of the pit. I'm just kidding. Do not do that. There's one of the things that happens. But this this isn't a bad thing. This one just puts you back to that door. In the, in the later parts of the, the dungeon, if you fall down, like in the big guillotine room, um... It can cause you to go back really far. And there's sculptulas that you have to beat. And it's just annoying. Alright, so now we come into a Beemos room. So in this room, as you can see on our map, we actually need a bomb here as well. Uh, on the map, there's going to be... Okay. Anyway. On the map, you'll see that there's a long hallway to the left, right there, and a short hallway to the right. Do not go to the right one. Don't even bomb that one. That's not even necessary. Uh, and yes, you have to bomb these. They're, you can't go through the... Okay, I guess you can go through that one. You have to bomb that one, but don't go through the right one. That one's not even necessary. If you want to get a fairy, which I think I want to do... Yeah, because I have trouble sometimes in this dungeon. I think you have to play the... Hold on a second. It's the Song of Stor Storms. You play the Song of Storms and a fairy will appear. Okay. Fairy, get in my bottle, buddy. Can you capture this fairy? I don't know if you can capture it. Never mind, I'm just gonna use it. Anyway, uh, now we're gonna go to the, to the left room. I'm going to equip my mask of or er, lens of truth because I can. Now, we're going to go to the left room. Through this. No, wait. No, we actually don't go through. Do we go through this room? 
Yes, we do, because we have to collect these rupees. Alright, these rupees are easy to get. There's one right here. Just take this path directly. Um, and remember, it's like the ice cavern. The same thing. They really love silver rupee puzzles as well as scythes. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, silver rupee puzzles in this dungeon. I think there's three in total. But I'm just going to tell you, in that room over there, there's actually a way down to the, like, last room of the dungeon, I guess. It's it's um, something that we're going to be going through later, but we don't actually need that passage to beat the dungeon. Anyway, we're going to get this small key and head back out. We do not need this room anymore unless we want to go out. Uh, like I said, the secret passage in the dungeon. Unless we want to go out of that. Anyway, let's go through here, ignore the one to the right, and go through this door. Wait, was I supposed to ignore that? Actually, I wasn't. That was not a fake room. That was actually... Hold on here. The compass room is in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I got you. I, I actually missed this one before, so it's good that I'm doing this. Play the sun song to make the Gibdos. Stun. Duh. Stun. Duh. Gibdos. Uh, I think they look better than Redeads, but... Wow, really? Seriously? Is this really happening right now? Okay. Gibdos are a lot cooler than... The... Redeads. Just because of the way they look. And Gibdos are actually Majora's Mask. If I didn't already say that, it's been a while since I recorded. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna get the compass here, and then... Blah, la la. You got that compass? Okay. Let's head out to the Bemos room again. Not We don't need this place anymore. Like, at all. Now. Now we can go through the door that we open with the key. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, this is the room that I was talking about that you can get caught and pushed all the way back. This is actually going to go into a guillotine room. Watch out in here because there are... As you can see right there, there are uh, big sculptulas that you want to avoid. You can take a lot of damage if you don't avoid them. And there's going to be one right down on this. Yep, right there. Okay. Very easy place, but it's also very easy to not remember things. Unless you have a good memory. But anyway, we're going to notice our first, like, glimpse at the guillotines. Which are creepy. You can actually normally get past that guy, but I guess not right now. Uh, but yeah, those guillotines play a huge part in this next part of the dungeon. Watch out for wall masters. They swoop down in these rooms if you stand still. And it can be very annoying. Okay. Wait for these guillotines to fall. And then on this platform around down here, you're actually going to fight a, a Stalfos. I'm actually very good at fighting these guys now than I was before. I'm, I'm more patient now, I guess. But yeah, just wait for them to attack and it takes three shots to kill them. Wait for them to attack, and if you're fast enough, um, you'll be able to attack them without getting hurt. But if you go to the left of this platform, you're going to find that uh, the Lens of Truth makes these platforms become visible. If I could have said it a different way, I would have, but I didn't know how to. Anyway, we're going to go through here, make sure that there's nothing that we can miss here. And we're going to find another scythe that's actually invisible, which kind of sucks. That is not fun. Anyway, there's a bunch of enemies in here, and I am going to equip my bow and arrow just so that it's easier to fight these enemies. They are not invisible. There's a lens flare from the sun there. That is the greatness of this emulator. I'd play this on my 3DS if I had a capture card, but I don't. There's a keys right there, and as you can see, uh, as you could see, there was a like like there is a like like right there kill it from a distance because we don't want to get our tunic and our shield taken away unequip the wait hold on a second we can unequip the bow and arrow right now because i think that's all the enemies yep there we go okay 
He drops a red rupee, but honestly, we don't need rupees anymore in this game. It's honestly not necessary. Okay, the real reason we came into this room was just because of this Skulltula. Which should be number 82, but it, for me it's 81. Uh, take that, take this rupee chest, and I'm actually going to call it quits right here. Um, I actually got to go eat. But anyway, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go into the rest of the Shadow Temple, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!